Hi everyone, so I have a third party energy update for you guys. Um, I'm just waiting for the right time to post this. This is for those of you that are dealing with someone that's psychotic. Either, you know, this is your ex or this is your person's ex. And this applies to those in my third party group. You know, only take it if it resonates though, of course. This isn't going to be for everybody. But the energy that I've been getting is that... I'm, I saw a karmic that did some kind of blood ritual. Well, I'll get into it in a minute. Let me first say the karmic is probably, for those of you that have kids, the karmic is probably going to try to use the kids against you on Halloween. I did a video on that maybe about a week ago. So if you haven't seen that video already, check back and watch that. Um, as I always say, it's really important to stay strong right now because you're in the final stages of this battle. The karmic is giving up, but the karmic male or female has hit rock bottom. So, you know, things are Things are going to be chaotic for a little bit, but you have to stay strong no matter what. Don't give in. A lot of the karmics are going to try to use the kids against you right now because they have nothing else to pull on. So you really need to be strong and you need to keep standing in your power and keep shutting the karmic out and do not allow them to use the kids against you. It's better for you and it's better for the, the children involved as well if you do not cave in, if you just keep being strong. Because if you cave in, you're going to start from square one. You know, you're going to be right back where you started from. Even just this, even just that one moment of weakness, you're going to be screwed. So you really have to stay strong. You have to be consistent. You have to stay awake. You have to stay away. I said you have to stay awake. You have, yeah, stay awake. And you have to stay away from the karmic at all costs. Okay? So please do not let the karmic manipulate you on Halloween. No matter what he or she says, it is a lie. Um, I, I went into that energy about a week ago, so check check that video out because there was something about someone lying on Halloween and saying that the kids didn't have someone to um, to take them trick or treating, but it's actually not true. And the karmic is trying to trap you so that they can yell at you and possibly even have you beaten up. So you really need to be smart here. Um, it's better for you, and it's also better for the kids for you guys, you know, both to just go your separate ways and not see each other. It's it's, you know, you have to show the karmic that she, he or she is not going to be able to manipulate you and exploit you through the children. Because if you let the karmic exploit you through the children, the karmic's going to keep exploiting you through the children. You have to show the karmic that that's not going to work, that you're not going to allow her to use your children against you, that you're just going to, you know, stay separated, that you're going to, you know, go down your own path. And then she's going to stop you, you know, she's going to focus on being a good mother or he's going to be focused on being a good father because, you know, the, the karmic is going to realize that exploiting the children is not going to work on you. So they're going to stop trying to do that. So, so yeah, I just wanted to reiterate just really quick. I know some of you are new to my channel, so that's why I like to, you know, give a quick recap. But I'm going to get into this other energy. Just give me one second. But, um, but yeah, as I said, you know, you're in the final stages of this battle. So you have to just be strong. You cannot show a single moment of weakness here. You cannot cave in, not even for a minute. You need to really watch out for traps at this time, like fake emergencies, like, oh my God, something like Timmy broke his leg. Come up, come over here quick. Like it's, it's a lie. It's a trap. This karmic wants to scream at you. This karmic wants to have you beaten up. So some of these karmics are actually going to lie. I just got that. That's a really sick energy. But some of these karmics, for those of you that have kids, some of these karmics are actually going to try to lie and say that your kid got hurt and your kid didn't get hurt. The karmics are just all drama. They like to exaggerate. So you really need to be mindful. You need to, you need to keep your distance. It's not safe for you or for your kids even for you to physically be around the karmic. You know, it's, it's better in the long run for everybody involved if you keep your distance. So please, please, please stay strong. Um, keep moving forward. Far away from the karmic, protect yourself, protect your home, protect your passwords, protect your car, protect, just protect yourself in every way, um, block the karmic, you know, just, just stay detached from the karmic, you know, keep moving forward. But, um, but anyway, so this is an energy update that I've been wanting to get into, but I kept being told it was not the right time. So the visual I got, I keep hearing planes. I don't know if planes are relevant to somebody. Maybe traveling. But anyway, the energy I got is that, so I saw a karmic that was cutting herself. She was cutting her arm up. And I think this would have happened a number of years ago. For some, it could have been a, a matter of months. But for a lot of you, I feel like it was a number of years. 
Um, so like I said, this is either a, a psychotic karmic that you're dealing with or this is a psychotic karmic that your person is dealing with. But the visual I got, and it could be male or female. You know, as I always say, even if I say female, if you know it's male, then just, you know, take it as it resonates. There's no assigned gender. But I'd say for the majority of you, the karmic is female. But anyway, I saw, so I saw this, this dark female karmic make a pact with a dark goddess or, um, some kind of dark being. Some of them, it was some kind of very dark spirit here. So for some, it was the spirit of death. For others, it was, um, it, for others, it was a demon. And dark goddesses are not necessarily bad. I'm not saying that dark goddesses are bad. I'm just saying that they, you know, there's a few different stories here. For some, the pact was with the demon. For some, it was with the spirit of death. For some, it was with a um, a dark goddess or another another being, you know. But the energy I got was that this karmic was desperate. Now, she might have been desperate for a few different things. I just saw her crying. Like, I just saw her freaking out and crying. So, this could have been a period of time when your person was about to leave the karmic or I could also, you know, if, if you're the one that's dealing with a psychotic person, I could see this as you were about to leave them and they did a they did a, a ritual on you to try to force you to stay. But basically, the karmic was at rock bottom at that point. They did a very dark ritual. The karmic also does not know what she's doing with witchcraft. Like, we've, you know, for those that are, that have been with me for a while, you know, reading these third party stories, as you guys know, the karmic has been stripped of her powers. She doesn't have the ability to do magic anymore. She has been stripped. Like her hexes do not even work on anymore. Work on anyone anymore. There, she's just she. You know, she was a child playing around with energies that she did not understand. Um, so yeah, for many, I feel like the karmic did this dark ritual to try to force someone to stay with her. For others, I feel like she might have done a ritual to try to get pregnant because she couldn't get pregnant. For others, I feel like. I just feel like a lot of desperation and pain with the ritual. So whatever, you know, take it as it resonates. But it was basically a moment when like her entire, it was like a tower moment. Like everything came crashing down on her. Like everything. It's like her karmic lessons came back on her tenfold, you know, not tenfold, but um, there was a karmic cycle that was trying to end and she tried to force it not to end is the energy that I got. And... I also want to say, I don't feel, I mean, take it as it resonates, you know, each, each case is different here, but I don't feel like you need to worry about the children in this situation because I feel like there's, like I've, like I've said before, there's divine intervention. So there's angels, there's gods and goddesses, there's other spirits that are working on this. And I'm really getting the feeling that, you know, with that divine intervention, they're also going to be protecting the children that are involved. You know, they're... These, these dark spirits are going after the karmic and anyone that's helping the karmic do this black magic. But they're not, they're, you know, children are innocent. They're not, I don't see them going after children. I see them kind of, you know, shielding the children and, and leaving the children out of this. Even if the children are in the same environment, I feel like they're still gonna, um, there's still, there's angels. I see like an angelic energies protecting the children involved in this basically, you know, but again, take it as it resonates, you know, do what you feel intuitively led to do. But as I said, you know, she's, the karmic's going to try to use the children against you. So you need to be smart and you need to keep your distance, you know, um, your, the children, you know, if, if there's some kind of fake emergency, if she's like, Oh, like something happened and I need you to come here right now or, or, oh, like, he's not going to be able to, he or she is not going to be able to go trick-or-treating unless you come over. Like, it's it's a trap. It is a straight-up trap. Like, this karmic wants to physically or verbally, like, assault you. Okay? You need to be smarter than that. You need, to, it's it's best for everybody involved if you keep your distance. I cannot stress that enough. But, um, but yeah, so don't worry about the children. But what I'm getting is that, okay, sorry, sometimes when I channel, I kind of ramble a little bit. But what I'm getting here is that... The karmic basically made this pact, and there's there's a few different stories here. So there's a couple of different reasons. For some, it was to keep someone tied down. For some, it's like they were about to lose something really big, be it like a house or a person or a job. Um, this karmic was just I just see like them being a mess. Like I see like smeared makeup. Like I just see like them like on the floor just crying, heartbroken. So this could have been a time when you were trying to leave, and then suddenly you just felt drawn to work things out, and you never knew why that was but then you fi then you figured it out um
but I definitely see blood. So that's that's clear. I see I see a blood ritual. I see the karmic cutting themselves and actually making a blood pact to this dark deity, whoever it was. And the karmic basically promised, you know, like, do my bidding for me, um, or you know, don't let me lose the house, or don't let me lose this person. Uh, don't let me go back to the life I used to know. Don't let me go back. They, I feel like a lot of fear too from this person. Like they were like, maybe they were afraid of losing money. Like maybe your person had a lot of money and they were threatening to leave the karmic. So the karmic was freaking out partially because like they didn't want to go back to like living on the street or um, being alone or like having to live with someone they didn't want to live with. Like for, for a lot of them, it was about, about money. Well, like I said, for some, it was also like they wanted a kid. For some, I feel like they might have actually made a pact to have a kid to keep this person stuck. Like maybe they weren't able to get pregnant because the divine was trying to protect this person from like being stuck to the karmic and the karmic might have made a pact to like get pregnant so that she could tie this person down. Um, Because I've said this before and I hate to say it about children, I hate to say it about children, but honestly, for some, the karmics, how do I explain this? Like, the karmics child is, is like the karmic and not like the DM or the DF. I, I hate to say it. I know because it sucks. It's, it's children involved, but it, it's because I just, when I tune into the karmics, I see, and this isn't for everybody, but for like, I'd say a large chunk of people. I see the the children having similar energy to the karmic. So I almost feel like the like God, I hate to say it, but for like some like that there's like I mean, children can can be dark. You know what I mean? Like they can. You know what it, you know, like there are, there are demons here in human bodies. You know, like I've I've known I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to explain that cuz it's just it's I know no one wants to hear that. I know it's it's very sad. But I just get like, for some, it's like the karmic's like a succubus and her child or her children are basically succubus spirits. And the DM and DF was basically trapped in this family that was not his, his or her actual soul group. And they could feel that and they wanted a way to go towards, you know, the DM or DF wanted to escape this to go towards their actual, actual soul family, their actual twin flame. You know, they might even have their own soul children that are... Um, on the other side, for some of you, this isn't for everybody, but for some of you, you might have, you might have kids and your person might also have kids with the karmic and your kids are actually, um, the DM or your DM or DF's past life children. I hope that makes sense. So it's like you have your own kids from somebody else, like from your own karmic relationship. And these children are actually, um, your DM or DF's soul children like their past life children and the dm's biological children are not even their soul children it's not there's no past life connection there it was just something that a dark spirit basically did to keep this person tied down and i'm not saying like screw the kid whatever i'm just saying like for some i mean i have to tell it like it is i know it's harsh but and this isn't for everybody like i said take only take it if it resonates you know what I mean? Like, there's different cases here, but I'm just saying for some of you, like, if you got a bad feeling about some, like, a, ch a child and you're like, why do I feel this way? Or you're like, a bad feeling about children, like, there might be a reason for it. You know what I mean? Like, it might not be just random coincidence. It might be, you know, I don't know how to explain that, but, um, I mean, I don't know how to explain that in a way that doesn't sound screwed up. Um, and again, this is not for everybody. This is only for like a few select people. You would have felt this strongly energy. Like you would have seen straight up like evil in that child's eyes. You would have been like, okay, like this child like gives me fucking creepy vibes. Like I feel like this kid is going to stab me in my sleep. And then you probably try to brush it off and you're like, you know what? No, it's a child. I'm not going to think that way. But for some, your intuition is on point. So I'm just saying, and you'll know if it is. This isn't just like, you know, don't don't jump to conclusions. But you would have already felt this energy. But anyway, this that's not what I wanted to get into. Let me get into the, the story here. And sometimes my video is cut off. So if it does cut off, please check back for part two. But um, the energy I got was, was, yeah, I saw this karmic that was doing some kind of blood ritual. She basically made this pact 
with a dark deity. Could be a dark goddess. It could be a demon. It could be another, you know, a being from another realm. But it was some kind of dark being that made this this pact with her. And, you know, she promised, I feel like it was about keeping someone stuck, but I just feel like there was different ways that she could have done that. For some, like, she wanted to get pregnant. For others, it's like, I just get someone saying, like, I can't go back to, I can't go back to my old life. So that could have been, like, financially, like, money to, like, not wanting to lose a house or something that was tied to this DM or DF. Like, maybe you guys had a house together and, um... You know, they just really did not want to lose that house because they know that if you guys break up that you would be, the house would be in your name and they would get kicked out. Um, for others, it's like maybe they were attached to the children and they didn't want to lose the children for those that actually already had children. You know, there's different stories here. But the overall energy I got was, was yeah, she, I saw her cutting herself. I saw her in a moment. It's just... There, you you might have, for, the, for those that were, like, in the same environment around this time, you might have actually seen a scar on the karmic's arm and thought, hey, that was weird. You know, like, where did that come from? And the karmic might have said, like, oh, I got, like, attacked by an animal or I got, um, you know, I was, I was cutting some carrots up and I accidentally cut myself. Like, something, just, like, something, like, to brush it off. Because I'm seeing, I'm definitely seeing blood involved in this ritual for the majority here. Because this is a dark ritual. This isn't, this is not something, this, this isn't like her doing a cutesy little like candle spell. This was, this was, this is major energy. This is like rock bottom energy, like, like rock bottom, like, like would sell her soul if she had to, like was willing to do anything. She did not give a shit. Like I sense major desperation, major pain, just absolutely begging for help, you know, um, and she did get the attention of, of some dark being for some, she just, for some, the karmic might not have even, you know, asked for anyone specific. She might've just been on her hands and knees saying, please just, you know, force him to stay or force her to stay. And if you do this, I'll do your bidding or I'll, um, for some I'm getting, we're all work with children. Like for some, they might've promised to get into childcare, like to be a teacher and they failed at doing that. Like, they might have promised, because I'm getting, like, some kind of service for some. Like, they might have promised, like, oh, I'll help the homeless, or I'll help children, or I'll, like, I'll, I'll volunteer at the animal shelter, or I'll do this, or this, or this. Just, just you know, do do this for me, and I do my bidding for me, and I promise, you know, I'll do this. So they made a very dark soul contract in this time of desperation. They made a blood pact. They did not know what they were doing. They... They would do anything to get their way. I just keep, you know, they just, there's something that they didn't want to lose or some kind of life they didn't want to go back to. And the thing is that they did not hold up their end of the bargain. And they didn't understand the energies that they were working with. So this, this being is pissed off now. Whether it was a demon or whether it was a dark goddess, the karmic basically bit off way more than he or she could chew. The karmic made this pact, you know, in a moment of, of desperation. And, you know, blood packs are, you know, you, they're not, they're not that easy to get out of. I mean, you can get out of them. Yeah. But it's, it's blood magic is no joke. That's why I always, I'm going to teach witchcraft sooner or later for those that are interested. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I, you know, some, in some, some point in my future, I'm going to teach witchcraft. But one thing like I encourage people not to do is do, do not do blood magic. Like you are like committing yourself for life basically much, basically by doing blood magic. Blood is just so powerful. It's so binding. You don't want to mess with that. There's so many other rituals you can do, you know, but, um, but yeah, she didn't hold up her end of the bargain. She was supposed to. I think she was supposed to pay it forward or she was supposed to, you know, there's a few different stories here. She was supposed to do something to help people. She was supposed to do something um, for those that like, you know, for, for those that maybe begged to have a child. Maybe they couldn't have a child. I'm beginning it was about three years ago for most of you, but not for all of you. There's a few different timelines here. But for those that like begged to have a child, maybe she promised, like, I promise, like, just let me have this child and I'll be a good mother. Because she might have been barren because she was, you know, too toxic to have a child. Like, the spirits straight up did not want her to have a child. She was, she was too psychotic. 
for some, you know, she begged, like, please let me have this child and I'll be a good mother. And it's like, you know, she, she'll be a good mother at some point when, when this battle is over, I feel like she'll start being a good mother. But, but, you know, in the past, when it's been her and the, and the DM or, or her and the DF, you know, however, you know, whatever the story is here. Um, I feel like she's been toxic because she's tried to exploit the child. So like I said, that's, that's one reason why, you know, the DM in this situation has to go his separate ways because if she's just left alone with the child, she's going to be forced to be a good mother because she's not going to have the child to, to gossip or spy for her. For some, the, ch the child was straight up spying on your DM and reporting back to her, you know. And <clears throat> once the DM is, you know, gone his separate ways... It's like, you know, she can't, you know, like I said, she can't exploit the child anymore. She, you know, she'll be forced to just be a good mother. But the DM needs to protect himself. You know, more than anything, your child needs you to, you know, for the DMs that are watching this, more than anything, your child just needs you to be safe and happy, even if it means you're going down your own path away from this whole situation. Like, your child needs you to be safe and protected, you know, so please stay safe. Please be logical. Protect yourself. Um, you do have a bright future ahead of you, even if it doesn't seem like it right now. You really do. So you need to keep, you know, going forward towards that bright future that you guys, that you DMs have. But um, anyway, with this energy, it's like, I feel like this spirit is pissed because the karmic did not hold up their end of the bargain. The karmic did not do what she said she was going to do. And you don't mess with spirits like that. You cannot make a blood pact with the spirit and promise to do all these things in exchange for, you know, doing doing your bidding or whatever and then just not fill, fulfill your end. It's like this karmic, these karmics are very naive. I feel like these karmics are very, you know, from what I've channeled, they're very narcissistic. They... They try to mess with energies that are so much more powerful than they are. And they don't even understand these energies. They're like, the karmics are like tiny little ants in comparison to these beings that they try to associate with. You know, these beings don't even take the karmics seriously. The beings are like kind of just, it, it's like, it, it, they're just annoyed by the karmics. Especially at this point. So it's like, yeah, you don't want to mess with, with energy like that. So... These beings are coming back on the karmics tenfold now. That's part of the divine intervention that I've been channeling. Um, there's no escaping it. You have to stay out of the crossfires. Let me just tell you that. The divine is handling this at this point. So you, you need to stay far away from the karmics because there are some dark energies around the karmic right now. And like I said, for most of you, I feel like the kids are safe. I feel like there's angelic protection around the kids. Like this is, There's multiple beings that are doing this. So even if this is like a dark goddess or something, there's still also other gods and goddesses and angels and other beings around protecting the children in this situation. So you don't need to worry about that. But but yeah, there are very dark energies around the karmic right now that are going to torment her. They're going to drag her down. And there's no way to escape that. The harder she tries to come at the DM and DF, the harder those energies are going to come back on her. Um, so I'll share a little bit about my situation, like what I, what I experienced. So, cause I'm in this energy group with you guys, but you know, I channel different stories. So, you know, sometimes I'll tell you about my story, but then, you know, you guys have the similar stories, but you know, different variations. So like for some, it was demons for some, it was, um, dark goddesses or other beings. For me, um, the karmic I'm dealing with made a pact with Santa Merte which is uh, the Mexican spirit of death. And the spirit of death is actually, um, I didn't know much about her, but I actually, when I felt her energy, I actually looked into her and she, um, she's actually very loving. She's actually very nurturing. She's, you know, she primarily assists the elderly in transitioning to the other side. Now, she's tried attacking other people with his spirit before because she made a blood pact so for me personally, and I'm just, I'm just telling you guys so that you can like relate to this, you know what I mean? Because your stories are different, but you're in the same energy group as I am. So it's going to be very similar. Um, but for me personally, the karmic was trying to kill me and that's not something she can do. She's just, she's way too weak to ever be able to. Um, and, but basically she had this, this spirit of death doing her bidding and she was supposed to, you know, 
pay the spirit back. Like, you know, she was supposed to fulfill her end of the bargain and she didn't. And the spirit is pissed because I felt this spirit come at me. And, you know, the karm like the karmic I'm dealing with, she was trying to kill me for a while. I think she's realized now that it's just not going to work and that if she tries, she's her life is going to be fucked beyond imagination. Like she realizes that now. But she sent this spirit to me and I communicate with spirits. So I felt the spirit and I recognized what it was. I recognized exactly who she was. I recognized it was Santa Merte. And I know she had tried to hurt my person before. She had tried to, you know, send this spirit on to him before too. And the thing I found out is that this spirit never wanted to be on him. It actually was there because of the contract that it had been, um, you know, that it, that it had with, with, um, with his ex, with the karmic. And, you know, the spirit, it's like I communicated with it. And it was, it basically told me it was, you know, she basically told me, she's like, Hey, I don't actually really want to be here. I'm here because I'm in this contract. I, you know, the karmic made a blood contract with me. So I've been doing her bidding, but the karmic has not fulfilled her end of the bargain. So I'm kind of just stuck here hanging out with you, but I don't actually really want to hurt you. Like, you know, cause I told her, I was like, you know, that this is unjustified. And then she was like, yeah, it, it is unjustified. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm here because of the contract because there's karmic laws. You know what I mean? Like if you make like a blood contract, it's like these beings will, will typically fulfill their contracts. Um, so yeah, she actually sided with me and she actually basically explained to me that, that she, she didn't want to do any of this. She didn't want to hurt my person. She didn't want to hurt me. Um, she was just fulfilling a, a blood contract that the karmic had made with her. And she was basically stuck in this contract almost. So I did a ritual. I did a spell to go ahead and set her free. I ended that contract. That's what she asked me to do. And she left shortly after. And now she's with the karmic and she's making the karmic's life a living hell and there's not a person in the world that can protect the karmic now from that there's no one in the world and i just want to you know anyone that even tries is gonna get hurt in the process like this is between the karmic and for for me from the karmic i'm dealing with it's it's between her and the spirit of death now and there's no escaping it like that spirit's pissed and it's gonna make her life a living hell um there's not there's not a magic practitioner in the entire world that can protect her from that there's there's universal there's karmic laws that she's broken there's there's higher beings that have stepped in and even the most successful magic practitioners that try to intervene with this will just get thrown back the they're the spirit this is this is in the realm of the spirits at this point there's no protecting the karmic at this point so I'm just letting you guys know because a lot of you guys are dealing with that same energy where it might have been a demon, it might have been something else, but, um, you know, those, those spirits, some of you have already ended the contract. Some of you went through this exact same thing and you've actually already done the rituals to break these contracts. But either way, I feel like these beings are going back on the karmic tenfold and there's not a soul in the entire universe that can or will help them. Anyone that would help the karmic is of low vibration and they're no match for the powers and the spirits that are handling this case now. Um, a lot of you are being hexed and you don't even feel it anymore. Like you, you don't even feel it. You, you don't have a scratch on you because you're that protected. Like you don't even need to worry. But, um, but yeah, that's the energy update I wanted to give you guys is that these spirits are messing with the karmic now. Like they messed with the wrong energies. They made blood contracts with spirits they did not understand. And these spirits are screwing the karmic's lives up tenfold. And it's not just them. It's other spirits around them too. There's other beings that are, you know, kind of like I almost see like these other... It's like the situation has attracted so many different beings, both from higher realms and lower realms. I just see this situation being like, like there's like a spirit that's fucking with the karmic, but it's like justified. So there's actually these other spirits around that are like protecting this um, battle between the karmic and the spirit. 
Does that make sense? It's almost like I see like the karma, like this spirit here, like kind of fucking with the karmic and ruining her life as she deserves. And then these other spirits outside just kind of blocking this, like, like a, like a boxing ring almost, you know, <laughs> like if she tries to have anyone help her, they're going to get fucked up by this little mob out here in the, the outer ring. I hope that makes sense. I know that's a weird visualization, but, but yeah, no one can save her at this point. And like, like I said, I wouldn't, for those of you that are dealing with the karmic that did this to you, do not try to help him or her, please, because these spirits will fuck you up too. If you try to intervene, if you try to protect this person, these spirits are, it's not about you anymore. It's not, the karmics are paying for what they've done to other people as well. This, so this isn't just about the DF or the DM. Um, this is about like, like, yeah, I feel like the spirit probably wants to protect the DF and the DM, but I feel like this spirit also probably is pissed off about, um, I mean, mostly I think this, the spirit is pissed off about like being trapped for that long, like being in a soul contract where the karmic's end of the bargain was not being fulfilled at all. You know, like you can't just trap spirits like that you can't you can't do that it's not a good idea <laughs> um and I feel like this is also justice for all the other people that the karmic has screwed over because you know what what he or she did to the dm or df like using them for money for sex you know hustling them just being the low vibrational shitty person that they are um they did this to several people before you or before them as well like, they have a whole line of exes that they used for money, for sex, for status, for power, for whatever they wanted. They they have a history of fucking people over. This this isn't somebody who just, you know, was, was a bad person when they got with you. Like, I mean, this isn't someone who became a bad person when they got with you. No, this is someone who was a bad person long before you. This is probably one of those sociopaths that told you, like, oh, all my exes were crazy and abusive and I was just an innocent victim, you know, did the whole crocodile tears thing. But the reality is their exes were actually the victims. Their exes are the ones that, you know, were stuck in those situations. Like, this person, this person might have a history that you don't even know about. This person might have a history with, like... Just I just get like hustling kind of energy, but not in a positive way, not positive hustle. It's more like a negative hustle, like like take someone's welfare money kind of hustle. You know what I mean? Like just just like like rob someone on the street kind of hustle. It's not it's it's not a good energy. So this is justice. The karmics are paying for not only what they did with the DM and DF trying to, you know, separate a divine connection, but also everything they put the DM through and also everything that they put other exes through and other people through things that they put their family through just the kind of person they've been their whole lives or most of their lives, you know, for most of these karmics, they've been bad people since they were teenagers or even before that, you know, these karmics are not okay people. Um, so, so yeah, this is divine intervention. Like this is, this is karma. This is meant to happen. This is, their lives are meant to be fucked up right now. You know, there are several high vibrational, like several spirits, gods, goddesses, even angels that, you know, want justice here. There's a lot of spirits that want justice here. So let me just say like, for those of you that are, you know, I don't want to say Stockholm syndrome, but like, for those that are like, you know, dealing with, if you dealt with an abusive karmic and you're like, oh my God, I don't want this to happen to him or I don't want this to happen to her. Please stay out of it, please. Because I'm not even playing when I say that these spirits will fuck you up if you even try to intervene with this. These spirits want justice. It's not just about you anymore. You're just a small part of the puzzle. So, you know, these spirits are going to fuck the karmic up and anyone that gets in their way, they're going to throw off like a little, like a little fly. They're not, you know, they're not going to entertain it. So please don't get yourself hurt. Please don't fuck around and find out. You have to just let this person sit and deal with their karma, no matter how dark it gets for them. Um, there's no way around it. You know, the divine has intervened and they're taking care of this now. This is, you need to leave this up to the spirits now. You know, there's nothing that can be done to protect this person. And like I said, anyone that tries to intervene with this person's negative karma is going to end up receiving their own negative karma. It's like, you you know, the spirits are handling this. You just, you can't touch this. This is, 
this is divine intervention. This is justice. This is bad karma coming on all at once all at once like this is just not something that you can interfere with so please just let me say you know keep your distance from this but um but yeah that was my story I mean for I mean you know part of that was my story what I dealt with with the spirit of death is like I found out that she did not even want to attack me or my person or anyone else she was just fulfilling a contract and I set her free and um yeah so She's fucking my person. She's fucking my um not my person up. She's fucking my um person's ex up right now. But um but yeah, many of you are dealing with that same thing. And some of you like if you've been feeling drawn to end that soul contract, like if you if you feel like you're dealing with a spirit that's like got a contract with the karmic, like you know, some of you can end it. You you can. You know, sometimes. I mean, people think, I don't want to say that spirits aren't powerful, like, but sometimes people don't realize that, you know, sometimes they can use a, some help. Sometimes they, you know, sometimes they do benefit from us doing spells and rituals. Like, you know, in this case, it's like that spirit was bound by a contract. There's, there's karmic laws. There's universal laws that a lot of these spirits will follow. So, you know, I needed to, to physically set Santa Marte free in my situation. Um, I needed to set her free from that contract that she had made when um, the karmic I'm dealing with did that blood ritual. And um, now she's free to get the justice she wants. You know, now Santa Marte is free to get the justice she wants on the karmic I'm dealing with. But many of you are dealing with the same thing. That's what I've been getting a lot of you. I'm getting like the blood ritual was, it happened for many of you. I'm getting like a very dark ritual for many of you. For a lot of you, it was a few years ago, but for some, I feel like it was a matter of months ago. Um, but it was basically just a time when the karmic was the most desperate, just at her low point. So, um, so yeah, please keep to yourself. Please do not try to intervene with this. Just let the spirits have their justice. Just, it's one of those situations where you're just going to have to let it play out. As it's meant to play out, there's really nothing you can do. And you just, like I said, you don't want to get involved when there's spirits like this, when it's just, this is such a heavy energy. Like, I'm not even playing. There's... There's spirits from all different realms that are fucking with these karmics right now. Like, there are, there's a whole group of karmics that tried to stop Twin Flame Reunion. They tried to... These karmics are of lower vibration. So these karmics are like succubus, like demon spirits, even soulless for some. These karmics... You know, it, it's a very spiritual battle going on here is what I'm getting. You know, a lot of these karmics, it's like collectively as a group, they came together to stop Twin Flame Reunion. And, as and you know, as I've said, like a lot of them, yeah, they feel like they want your person's money or their person, you know, their, your, your person's love or whatever. But on a deeper level, like on a soul level, on a spiritual level, there's a battle going on where it's like the the purpose is to stop these Twin Flames from uniting. There's something there's something deeper going on behind the surface here. You know, you kind of have to dig deeper. So a lot of these karmics are being punished now for that and for their mistakes in the past. So it's like you just, there's so, there's so many spirits on the karmic's ass right now. So many spirits, like, like there's just, there's no protecting them. So just please stay out of it. Like I cannot stress that enough. Um, it's like a lot of you will be blocked from even touching that energy. I just see so many. I see like one or two main spirits that are pissed at the karmic that are messing with the karm with these karmics. But I also see, like I said, like a whole like just a, an army of different spirits from different realms that are making sure that these karmics suffer and receive justice for all the people they've wronged, all the people they've hustled and screwed over. These karmics are going down and there's no way around that. So, yeah, you don't want to get involved. You want to leave this to the spirits, trust me. Um, you will not even be able to touch this energy. There's so much, there's just so much, inner, there's so many spirits is what I'm seeing. So many spirits around this situation that it's like, if you even try to give a warning, it's like they would just, there's no point in warning, but I mean, even if you did, it's like these spirits would just push you back. Like you would, they would, some of them might even attack you for trying to get involved in, you know, destiny and justice. Because um, like I said, this isn't just about you. This is what the karmic... This has been coming for years and years. This is the result of the karmic's actions for, for a long, long time. Um, 
It's, it's really not just about you. It's not just about the DM and DF anymore. So please keep that in mind. And please, um, yeah, just protect yourselves. Um, you know, I'll see what other third-party updates come up. Thank you guys for watching.